Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is uh, Julie Ben Fish Academy. If you're on our channel for the first time, please do well to subscribe to our channel. We promise you that this channel is going to unleash a lot of important information for you as a potential catfish farmer or as a fish farmer already existing in the market as we speak. Now, this early morning, um, I had some couple of customers that called me believing that they wanted to buy fish in bulk. In fact, they were ready to clear my entire pond, you know, if need be. So he came around, came with his scale, and um, his scale is a 50 kg watt scale. But what I have is just a small kg. Yeah, that was the first scale I bought years back when I started the farming system. So I usually use that small kg to weigh my fish weight. Of course, it's this particular size we're talking about. This is just a 20 kg weight of fish. Oh, I said weight fish, sorry about that. This is just a 20 kg scale. The maximum we can carry is 20 kg. Now there's a one that supersedes this one, that's senior to this one, that carries um, a total of uh, 50 kg at once. And it can even go beyond because it has an overlapping effect. After it goes to 50 kg, it continues, you know, an overlapping effect. Now, these couple of farmers came this morning and they were ready to buy fish. They were ready to clear my pond. They actually cleared a pond of my clients that is very close to me because I train him and all that. So, but now it was on my own turn. They wanted to clear my pond. So what I did was because I had this knowledge that actually um, market women actually alter the scale. That's the gospel truth. Don't make the mistake of taking your measurement from a market woman or market woman scale because their skills are usually altered, they are discalibrated to favor them and not you, the farmer. I'll give you an example of what happened this morning. So they came this early morning with their skill. I was suspecting that that skill has been altered. But you know, bringing it up can cause a lot of commotion, a lot of uh, annoyance and problem in the background. I jokingly said, you should say this scale goes so, you should say well so, okay, more measure. I took one kg worth of fish, I placed on this scale, it was showing exactly one kg. We took the same one kg worth of fish and placed on his scale of 50 kg maximum and it was showing 0.9 kg 0.9 kg i was like okay fine it's okay at least the deviation is not that much who told you it's not that much these guys come to buy in bulk they don't buy in little quantity and so they measure a bowl of about 20 fish 50 fish depending on how the size of the fish is and slot and just drop on the scale at once haven't dropped a bowl of about 50 worth of fish and these fish as i speak to you they are above one kg one kg is the minimum weight 50 pieces of it on a bowl and dropped on a scale that scale is reading 50 kg exactly i was a little bit disturbed at first but because it was not my farm i didn't bother they used that scale they measured and measured and measured and measured and cleared the pond they caught to my own pond and they took this uh, 0.5 grams worth of fish, the ones you use for smoke fish, and loaded that bucket with about 110 pieces. And I know the size of my fish. Those fish are nothing less than 0.5 kg for each. And by the time you take an average weight, it's about 500 grams for each fish. And loaded a total of 110 fish at once. And it was showing exactly 50 kg. I was like, damn! How possible is this? Well, this is a 20 kg kilo, and this 20 kg kilo cannot weigh 50 kg. So they took another set of about uh, 34 pieces of fish and put on the kilo, and that kilo was showing on their scale 17 kg. I was like, how come? Do you know what it means for it to weigh 17 kg? That means the weight per unit fish is not even up to 400 grams. And that's crazy because I know my fish. I see, I know the weight by virtue of looking at them. So what happened was that, and I decided to take that bow, measure the weight of the bow without fish, adjusted it to the zero mark, then place the bow, and then enter the same fish inside. All and behold, on my own private scale, it was weighing 19 kg. I was like, there's a deviation somewhere. We carry the same bow, place on a 50 kg scale, and it was showing 17 kg. Took it back to my own 19 kg. Where did the 2 kg go to? This calibration. And I now came up with a calculation. These guys actually discalibrate their weighing balance to favor them. Though they are quite smart, their discalibration is such that for every 1 kg worth of fish, 
they gain 100 grams for free. You may say, well, 100 grams is quite a small, come on, we can let go. Yes, it's quite small. But when these guys are here to clear your pond, for every 50 kg worth of fish, you lose 5 kg. Because 100 grams times 50, that's 5,000 grams. And 5,000 grams equals 5 kg. So for every 100 grams fish you lose into 50 places, that's 5 kg worth of fish. And of course, you know what the Association of Niger Catfish Farmers of Nigeria have declared their price. You know what the price is. As we speak, any fish that is above 1.5 kg should be sold for 1,500. Now imagine you losing 5 kg in that kind of scale. Just calculate how much you are losing in the market. This is one of the reasons why a lot of farmers outside there will go into the farming system and at the end of the day they fall out. Fall out because they don't see the profit of what they are going through. We are complaining that the cost of feed is too expensive, market price is going up every day by day and these people are out there to kill the little farmers that are still existing in the farming system. And you call that kindness. Because he was telling me that why can't I let that 0.1 gram go? Why must I get everything right? I said it's not about letting it go. It's about knowing the accurate measurement. If you want me to give you so so and so kg for free, I will gladly do that. Buy 50 kg, I give you 5 kg for free. No problem. But not to play on my intelligence, believing that you are smarter than I am by discalibrating your, your kilo just to favor you. So why I'm making this record is for you out there as a farmer to know that these people are out, not all of them though, but some are actually out to play on your intelligence. And so as a fish farmer, you must be prudent never to use their scale unless you are 100% sure that that scale has not been tampered on. And of course, the only way you can be sure is after you have carried out your own experiment. So the best thing to do is to get your own scale. Get a 50 kg worth of scale if that is what the market is requesting for and sell from there. Don't use their own because you will surely be disappointed at the end of the day. It's as simple as that. You will surely be disappointed because at the end of the drama, I was telling him, fine, why not use my own kg? He said, no, we can't use your scale. Your scale is a small scale. This is a big scale. I said, oh, you can't use my scale, but you want me to use your scale. Your scale that is already cheating me of 2 kg. You want me to use your scale. I say, if you're not ready to use my skill, then I'm not selling. And of course, he went. He left. I didn't sell. I'm not in a rush to sell. I'm not. Look at the cost of feed in the market. Do you know how much they sell one bag of 15 kg worth of fish? 9 mm as we speak. 9 mm is nothing less than 8,000 naira and above. Yet, they will come and play on your intelligence and still cheat you in the same farming system. It's crazy. It's crazy. These people are out there to just draw you down and make sure that you are off just because of their own selfish interests. Look at the farmer that we just cleared his pond right now. A 500 capacity work pond. He started with 500. I trained him on how to go through the nitty gritties of the training. I've been following up, following up, and he has been doing well, you know. Although the farm was not big enough because he was only using 2,000 liters capacity to train 500 fish. That is awkward. That is overstocking. But he said that is the way he can, that is the best he can do for now. He cannot get more space and all that. And I said, okay, fine, let's manage the little we have, but just note that this is overstocking. You may have issues with stress, you may have issues with growth, you may have issues with death, mortality, and all that. He said, but let's manage. And so we have been managing this farm for the past five months. He started with 500 juveniles, and in five months' time, he lost about 47 fish. And I told him not to get bad, not to feel bad about it. That's a good record. It's a good record on its own because you have lost just less than 10% in a period of five months. That's a good record. And it's your first time, you know. Do you know how much fish I lost in my first time? If you try, you will fall out of the market. My first experience, I lost more than 70% of what I had. You will fall out of the market. And so they cleared this spawn. He spent close to 200,000 to train those fish for a period of five months. 200,000 naira was spent. And these guys came and cleared the pond and paid him 283,000. 83,000 naira as profit for a period of five months? That's pretty small. That's just 64% profit for five months. It's small. As a fish farmer, your standard price should be not less than 100% gain. That's the gospel truth. If not because the system has been adulterated. We are complaining that the price they put per unit bowl is small. They are cheating you on the same thing. That's unfair. It's pretty unfair. One bowl of 50 fish, that means each fish should at least weigh 1 kg. 
the price per unit kg is 950 naira. That is pretty small. It's small. The Catfish Association of Nigeria have declared the price of one kg worth of fish to be 1,200. And they come for 950 naira. As if that was not enough, they dig into your pocket. It's not funny. And that is why this system must stop. Get yourself a weighing balance. Do not use your own. Get yourself a weighing balance. Do not use their own. If you must use their own, make sure that the calibration has never been tampered on. And at the end of the day, you get the best of what you really need to get. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, fish farming is a lucrative business. Get into it with the right mindset. Acquaint yourself with the people that are ready, that are successful in the farming system. And they will tell you the nitty gritties of how it is done. And you will reap the fruit of your labor. It is as simple as that. And just to end this video, this particular channel is not just out to uh, castigate farmers or say a lot of things, especially for those that will be watching this video for the first time. No, we have a whole lot of trainings we do. We show you how to train your fish, how to treat them when they're sea, how to construct your pond, how to establish your farm, how to dry your fish, how to create an oven for yourself. You know, do it yourself. We are actually into a whole lot of stuff, but this particular one got me seriously annoyed this morning. And that was a simple reason why I made this video and make it known to the general public so that you take your time and don't let anybody play on your intelligence. And anybody that decides not to use your weighing balance just for any reason, let that person go. And God will definitely provide you another person that will definitely patronize you and do your job very well. Thank you for watching. This is Children Fish Academy. Once again, if you're here for the first time, please click that subscription button. Get yourself subscribed to our channel because you will definitely enjoy the outcome of what this channel has for you. We have videos outlined already on the channel that can span from now to the end of the year. Every weekend, every Friday, these videos will keep on dropping, dropping, dropping. Every Friday is at the time I upload videos, okay? So, but I schedule them online and it drops every Friday, every Friday. So just try as much as you can to click that button and trust me, you are going to really enjoy what is going to come out of there. And it will make you as a potential farmer, a good farmer when you get there, or as an existing farmer, a better one. Thank you for watching. This is Julian Fish Academy. Boom.